Hello, hello! K-pop Pigeon in here with a new video. Today we're talking about none other than BTS. Much have been spoken about these guys, but they're always pumping out new content that let armies know them even better. The group released their Behind Story interviews, where the members sat down and interviewed each other about the making process of the album, very personal to them. B. Between the serious talks about song making and personal growth, the members also let slip details and stories about them that made a smile, laugh, and even wiped a tear or two. But before that, click the like and subscribe buttons below this video if you don't want to miss out on our content. Now, let's go to what the BTS members shared with us. Proof that they're basically geniuses. All of the guys are undeniably super talented musicians, and the interviews highlighted that. But the term sexy brain is specially made for the one with a 148 IQ RM and that's no surprise. When Jimin asked what does the leader do when he gets stuck with his music, RM said that he uses the 3 B phrase, bus, bath, bed, to overcome his artistic block. Of course the math genius has a formula for every problem. Referencing famous mathematician Archimedes, like the brainiac he is, RM said that good ideas usually come when you're taking a walk, in the shower or before falling asleep. Tell us, are you armies gonna use this formula from RM? As for us, we would 100% trust any advice from the genius leader. Suga, on the other hand, revealed in his interview with RM that he completed three songs when BTS were shooting in the scoop which took place for only one week. Suga exposed himself as a genius even more when he said he wrote songs simply because there was nothing else to do. If only we could be half as brainy and talented as these guys. Their past stories. Although much of the interviews had the boys talking about their career as musicians, the members also spontaneously included little stories and snippets about their lives. Remember RM's 3B phrase? Well, Jimin thought that armies would love to know that the leader's advice didn't work for him. Jimin took a long walk for two hours to get inspired so that he could write songs, but he only ended up with sore legs. RM jokingly said that Jimin shouldn't blame him and it's only his fault for being silly. Still, it's always good to see the guys taking each other's advice to heart, even if it didn't work out as planned. In J-Hope's interview, the rapper talked about how he's come to appreciate the wonders of songwriting when he created Blue and Grey by studying keywords. The one he talked about was the famous Grey Rhino phrase, which is a metaphor about ignoring danger. That had armies praising his songwriting skills. J-Hope said that he neglected his studies as a student, but hopes that by writing great lyrics he would be able to improve and live up to the reputation as the son of literature teacher. The hard work they put in. Sure, the guys are genius and creative artists, but it's true that the hard work they put in is what made BTS the worldwide performer that they are today. During the interviews, the members shared how they often prepare themselves during comebacks, and Jimin had a shocking habit. On top of staying hydrated by drinking lots of water, as is the standard practice, Jimin revealed that he stays away from alcohol as it affects his throat, which is unlike most artists who drink to calm themselves before recording. Knowing how much the guys like to drink, that must have not been easy. Jimin also shared that he stayed up until 4am despite having scheduled the next day to finish his Christmas gift to armies, Christmas Love which was recorded only two days before it was uploaded. Meanwhile, most of the songs take an entire week to record. Armies, do you see how much Jimin loves you? While we're on the topic, share your favorite Jimin solo down below. Not only that, in RM's interview, the leader reveals just how much BTS is concerned when it comes to the quality of their song and what they want to deliver as musicians. He shared that he wrote 20 versions of just the first line in the chorus of Life Goes On. So, armies, as you listen to the song, keep that in mind and truly appreciate the hard work they put in. How humble they are. Despite the hard work and success, the BTS guys always show fans that they are still as humble as ever, which is one of the many reasons so many armies love them. In J-Hope's interview, the rapper shared his honest feelings about being a musician. 
Because J-Hope started out as a dancer, he becomes modest when he speaks about music, as he feels unskilled and unexperienced. Can you believe that? I mean... The humble young cook also expressed something similar in his interview, when he opened up to J-Hope about how he is aware that he's not good enough and would like to challenge himself more. What kind of musical styles would you guys like to see from John Cook in the future? Share with us below! In Jin's interview, the sweet-voiced vocalist admitted that his vocals felt uncertain, but John Cook was quick to disagree with him just like the supportive McNay he is. The fact that these words came from actual Grammy nominees, who have achieved so much beyond that, has us truly in awe at how humble the BTS members are how connected they are to their feelings. In the behind interviews, the BTS guys often talk about wanting to put their feelings into their songs as musicians. As we all know, their song Stay is a special piece between the group and the armies, as it describes ARMY's undying loyalty and love to BTS. In Jin's interview with Jungkook, the Hyung revealed how he specially thought about armies as he wrote the lyrics. Jin wanted to express that he felt as if the pandemic was a dream and if he were to open his eyes, he would see armies in front of him. Aww, we shed a little tear at that. <laughs> As fans, we all look forward to the day where we can see our idols again and there's no doubt BTS feels that just as strongly as armies do. In the meantime, drop us your favorite song that BTS dedicated to armies in the comments below. Ours is, of course, stay. In V's interview, Suga asked him about his favorite part in Blue and Grey, a song dear to V's heart, and his reaction made us say, "Oh." The vocalist mentioned that he believes in an angel figure that watches over him. How sweet is that? As we all know, Blue and Grey is a song of sadness, and the line, where's my angel, refers to this angel figure that seems to have disappeared when BTS, especially V, we're going through tough times in the early days of the pandemic. Armies hope that the angel has returned to watch over you, Tate. That they'll always be the fun BTS armies love. Although the vibe of the interviews were quite serious, making it different than most content BTS released, the members' fun personalities naturally showed up throughout the interviews anyway. From Jin jokingly singing Boy with Love with a grape in his mouth, to Jimin tricking Jin with an awkward handshake, and of course, V's already iconic Holy Moly Bam grandfather, the guys will always be their fun selves no matter where they are. Despite all that, the behind story interviews are great, because armies finally get to see the members talking to each other about what they all truly love, music. It's clear how much passion they have as idols, as musicians, by looking at the way the members spoke about themselves and their career. We'd love to hear more of what BTS has to offer in the future and hope that they will only grow ever more successful in the years to come. That was K-Pop Pigeon! Remember to like this video and don't forget the subscribe button while you're at it. Until next time, take care!